Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean Autotopia LA. And keeping with the theme lately, which is just showing you just a ton of variety. Today we've got something completely different for us over here. Check this out, man. Little BMW 2002. Some of you guys might not even know what this car is. I remember this car well as a kid, but this is far from what it was when I was a kid. This started life as a 72, 2002, uh, but there's been a lot of work done on this. And we're gonna get into the details with the owner who's also the builder of this car. The, I know very little about it at this point, so I'm gonna learn with you guys as we talk through this car. The couple things I know about it is it's been fully built. This whole car has been gone through. And one of the main points I know about this car already that I can't wait to feel is this thing's got 430 horsepower. This little car is making 430 horsepower. Think we might have a little fun in this? Yeah. So we'll do our usual thing, man. We'll walk through the car, show you guys details, and we'll take it for a ride and see what we think. My guess is this is gonna be a blast. So anyways, you guys, hold on, cause here we go. All right, you guys, well, this is my new friend, Tony, and uh, he's brought his, we'll call it a 1972 BMW 2002, but not really. <laughs> so, uh, dude, let's talk about your car. How long have you owned it for? Well, I had it roughly about, I want to say a little bit over five years now. Okay. And, you know, it's just been just a never-ending project, just always just been working on it, you know? One thing led to another and just end up looking what it does now. Yeah, yeah. But you so know? you started with a bone stock. Oh, yeah, it was just a bone, bone stock, stock 72, 2002. 2002. Your, your basic, yeah, your basic 2002 bone stock, you know, still with the stock four bangers motor and all that. Right. Driving it the way it was till it started smoking. So the motor so, you swapped was... Well, what we did was we swapped it out of a E30. It's pretty much your, your basic M20. Right. Inline six cylinder M20, you know? Right. Didn't have the pep that it wanted. You right. Know? So I wanted to give it a little bit more. And that's when I started collecting parts for the turbos. And, you know, one thing led to another. We just ended up putting the turbo on there, right? You know, so. What's yeah. How big is the turbo that's the on it? The turbo is a uh, 58 millimeter. Okay. Carrot. So, okay, so you got an E30 motor turbocharged. Correct. Which I love the sound. As soon as you as soon as you stand on it a little bit, you hear the wastegate. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> wow. Wow. Things yeah, intense, little, bro. <laughs> yeah. Four hundred and thirty horsepower. For you a said tiny right. Car, yeah. And you're over four hundred foot pounds of torque, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Usually, yeah, with the inline six, it's it's incredible. It gets the same amount of horsepower, same amount of torque. That's so what's cool, so awesome man. about these M20s. So yeah. cool, dude. And then, so to deal with that much power, obviously, the rest of the car is not stocked. Like oh, you've no, dealt everything's with... been reinforced. Everything's been all, yeah, everything's just been beat So you've up. dealt with the chassis. Oh, yeah, chassis has been reinforced. Subframe's been reinforced just to be able to handle the power, just so it won't twist or torque, you know, sure. under how power. Sure, You know, the rear end, we got a medium case. Pretty much everything is out of an E30, honestly. Got it. The, you know, motor and trans, drivetrain, rear end, everything out of an E30, just so it can handle the power. Right. You know, E30s handle them all day long. Right. Just, Your interior, a lot of this is E30, right? The, the seats interior, are... Just the seat in the back seat, yeah, just kind of, they just, you know, it just fits the car. That's what, you know, it, it really fits does. The car, man. You know, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. But everything else is all original, actually. Door panels original, car floor, you know, carpet's all original, 2002 stuff. But yeah, dashboard, 
And what are the um, what are the wheels on the car? The wheels are BBS RS. They're 16 inch, 16 by 7 BBS. Right. So what tire size are you running then? Well, right now we're just uh, I believe they're 165s or something of that nature. Okay. So yeah, these are actually just show show tires. You Got know, it. Just to, just to, just to look good. So but, they um, spin crazy. Yeah, just to have fun. <laughs> exactly. But you know, when you really want to get aggressive with it or go on a track days or even a canyon trip, you know, I got some nice 15 by 8s and put on them with the Toyota R Triple Eights. Oh, and those cool. things stick to the ground, let me cool. tell you. Yeah. That's when you really feel the car. So now you can really drive oh, yeah. the car it at that really, point. Yeah, it really yeah. sticks and you really feel the 430 horsepower out of the whole car. Yeah. Pretty Dig cool. these BBSs though, they look great. I love what you did with the center that you didn't. You know, it would be easy, like we were talking about, dude, it'd be easy to just go a solid color on the Correct. whole center, but this has detail to it that's it's yeah, more subtle. Yeah, I kind subtle. of to change it up compared to every other car that you would see. And, you know, BBS is a common rim that you would see on every old school Euro. For actually. sure, no doubt. So I wanted to kind of stand out from that, you know? Yeah. So that's why I wanted to go with the, you know, candy red windows with the, with the uh, polished faces on them just so you know the faces of them are just nice and polished just to give it that pop yeah went with the gold go rivets right also on. you know give it the yeah. gold rivets to give it that also extra pop something different that's out of the ordinary it personalizes it to your exactly. taste exactly it you personalizes know? it to your taste correct yeah man it, it makes it yep but it's been an awesome journey just just meeting different people individuals in the 2002 world yeah you know i, I at first i just thought it was a regular basic BMW, hey, cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, it's, little, it's little do I know, there's more behind it. But yeah, that was, yeah, well, 10 years ago, over, you know, over 10 years ago. Actually. Yeah. I think it's a great build, dude. I think this is, I mean, especially just hearing the friggin' yeah, wastegates, dude. Yeah, I love it that, awesome. man. So let's see, that's the engine, suspension. Trans is E30 also? Trans all E30. What are the what the gauges that you have here? Because I see all all these gauges are stock, right? Yeah. The, the, is this the, stock? No, gauges? that is not stock at all. No, no. Actually, the 2002 does not come with any gauges at all. It just comes with your gas gauge and your temp gauge. Really? That's all it comes with. Yeah. You're, you know, then those, you know, your speedo and, and tag. Right. You know. And so but these yeah. are dead gauges. They're not even working, right? Well, they're not working just because I have. It's a mechanical speedo. Right. Thirty doesn't come mechanical. Got it. It's all electrical, so I haven't adapted that to the to the. Got it. Speedo, okay. You know, but yeah, all this still, you know, it's all you know, your volt, your temperature, and you know, oil pressure. And Is that all out of an E30? No, no, that's, that's not E30. No, no, that's all aftermarket stuff. Got it. Yeah, okay. That's all aftermarket. Same stuff. with these gauges yeah, above these are your all wheel. Yeah, all aftermarket stuff. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, above the wheel, I have to get the custom custom pod just to be able to hold the two gauges in there. Yeah, and the yeah. digital readout is that the boost? The digital readout is your air fuel ratio, and the the mechanical gauge is my boost. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, I see. Right. Yeah. Dig the wheel too. Yeah, Super I cool always love the Nardis. I always love the wood grain Nardis. Yeah. Wood grain looks yeah. so right, doesn't it? It just fits the old school. It you does. Feel. I totally it's agree. There. How long did it take you from like once you started going? Okay, now I'm going to build this thing. I'm doing a motor swap chassis subframe you start dealing with everything how long was like what would you say the time frame of oh, build I'd was say, yeah the whole time frame i want to say roughly just roughly about about four years four or five years i want to say wow that's throughout the whole steps yeah going through the whole thing you know own the car and then going through the, you know blowing up the first four cylinder that i had in it put the six cylinder in, wanted more upgrades yeah boosted that painted the car and then once everything was apart might as well as like hey might as well just start powder coating it just go that extra mile and get everything looking good now right you know right. so i had the performance everything was was you know performing well right but i just didn't look good yeah so end up you know that's how i ended up you know getting it painted and doing all the chrome and all that so yeah i want to say roughly about a five year span but i'm curious dude if if somebody like let's say somebody came to you today and said hey dude i love that 2002 could you build me that same car obviously you could build this because you already built this one Oh, absolutely. What would what do you think yeah, it would cost? What, what? You know, once you get into a custom custom range, you know, it, it it's one of those things where you can't really put a price on it. Once you get into one part of it, it just it just builds up. So usually sure. when a customer always comes in of with that question, I always kinda answer with you always wanna have a, a mindset of an open checkbook, honestly. Right. You kinda don't know you don't wanna put a price on something where it's like you always tend to kind of exceed that price. Yep. In you know, in reality. It's it's really quite hard, yeah, to put a yeah. you know, price on a custom build. I agree, you know? dude. I you agree. gotta put custom, you know, custom, you know, mounts. 
you know, custom cross member, custom hoses, custom lines, everything, you know, you can't just go to AutoZone and buy it and bolt it on. No, I know. Awesome. This car just pulls, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really it's awesome. <laughs> you dig it, huh? You're stoked with it's, your car. It's pretty cool, yeah, because I don't, you know, I don't really drive it every day, just on the weekends or whatnot. You yeah. Know? I'm always at work, you know, and on the yeah. weekends, like, hey, let's go have fun. You know? Yeah. And it's just like, you get that turbo boost, you know, it's just dude. like, oh my God. God, this thing's badass, dude. I'm so impressed with this car. I really am. I'm totally blown away. I love yeah, it's, I it's, love the feel of like real acceleration, you know, it, the kind that does this to your face. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that's it for this radical 2002. What a cool car, huh? I mean, very subtle in its look. I mean, yeah, it's stanced low, it's got the wheels, but for the most part, it's pretty sleeper. I mean, if I was in an M4 driving down the freeway, I would think for sure I'm gonna smoke this guy. And I would definitely be wrong. I would not wanna run up against him, especially at a roll on at about 60 miles an hour. I think this car would be seriously dangerous. It's just badass, I don't know what else to say, man. I, I'm stoked that Tony brought this car over here and took me for a ride in it and talked to you guys through the details. Hope you guys had a good time in this episode with me. You know I did. I'm still smiling from a couple of good pulls. Gotta say thanks as always for hanging out and watching and supporting the channel. Love watching this thing grow. Keep spreading the word because you guys are helping me grow this thing and I love it, man. So that's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, man, later.